first practice of spring? You know what? It's the first practice, and it's a lot of positive energy. There's a lot of people, you know, excited, including us. But, you know, we got to all get in shape. We all got to be better. The energy was there. Everything was there. As you can tell from my voice, I'm not in shape yet. Long way to go. But that's the exciting thing about spring. We get to come out here and day by day take it one rep at a time. You know, get to assess our players, evaluate our players as we get prepared. Is that a first practice thing all the time? You lose the voice or is that a weird thing? It's usually this time of year, coming off of the winter, right into the spring. First couple of days I'll sound like this. By practice three, I'll be ready to go. <laughs> we saw Jalen out there in blue. It sounds like he's sort of been limited throughout the spring. What's your plan for him over these next couple of weeks? He's just like everyone else. He may not be able to take as many physical reps as everyone else, but mentally he's doing everything that he can. And whatever he can do physically, he's going to do those things because this is a big off season for him as well. It's important to make sure his shoulder stays healthy, correct? Very important. You know, one of the biggest things about the spring is we want to get as much reps and as much development as possible and come out as healthy as possible. For anyone that is already on that reserve list, they still have to have that same progression, doing as much as they can to get as best as they can. Jalen and Mo has got so much action last year because of the injuries. Uh, where are they at this spring compared to where they were last year at this time? And, and what are your hopes for them? You know, the reps that Mo's and Jalen got are very valuable because they've seen a lot of football from last year. And they know what they have to improve on. And those are some focus points that we'll have for them this spring. We're going to make sure that those things that they needed to do better last year is a main point in our drills and our development this year. What was it with Jalen? I mean, talking with Coach Pry, he likes his speed in the alley and then stuff like that. Is it more geared towards run fits and, and things like that that you like to see uh, leaps from him from? Uh, JJ is a phenomenal athlete. Last year was his first year playing safety at this level. He's a very instinctive player. He did a lot of great things. Those reps that he got last year, along with this spring, is going to put him in a position where he's going to be able to help this team tremendously. Mose was just, I mean, he'd been here two months at this time last year. <laughs> From the progression standpoint, where is he compared to, to what he was? Moses had a great offseason, and, and, and he finished the season strong. You know, there were some learning curves there, some things that he needed to do better early in the season, and as the season went along, he got better and better, and it didn't stop this winter. He continued to get better and better, and we're looking for him to have a great spring and be where he needs to be going into the fall. With a little more, little more experience that you have in, in the backfield this year compared are you able to start a little bit further along than maybe when you were at this time last year? You know, absolutely. You know, with the different variations of safety that I had to deploy last year, actually it's beneficial to us this year. A lot of guys were able to get a lot of good reps. And this year, we're going to be able to use all of those guys. And as we develop this spring, it's going to make us a better unit. They're a year further along in the defense schematically in their understanding of what we expect, and that's going to be beneficial for them as well. How about Quentin Reddish? Just stepped on campus, obviously, just winter, should still be in high school. What have you liked out of him kind of early here? Well, he's here because he belongs here. You know, what we saw in Quentin Reddish was a, a, a long, lengthy athlete that has a lot of tools. But he has a long way to go because he doesn't know anything yet. But so far, so good. He's doing everything that we ask him to do, and we expect him to make mistakes. It's our job is to get him ready. What's your depth look like behind J.J. Mose here this spring? Right now, we're not focusing on depth. You know, depth charts are what we deploy so you guys can see them, but everybody's on the same playing field. Everybody gets reps, and they're valuable reps, and the guys that perform the best are the guys that are going to play the most. So right now, we're just, we're just worried about when you touch the grass, being the best you can. Do you view Jalen Stroman as more of a player coach this spring because of all the reps he's had, the experience he's had? really helping these young guys when he's because of being limited? You know, with Strowman being here the longest and being the most experienced player, it puts him in a position to where he can be a leader off the field with his role this spring. And it's going to make him a better leader. It's going to make him a better player, being able to help teach the younger players how to play while he gets his mental reps. But it, make no mistake about it. Every physical rep that Jalen can take, he will take. He's not going to take the spring off. We're just going to make sure that we have him ready for the fall. How badly do you need that? I mean, Peoples was here for so long, and he wore so many hats. Uh, stepping up into a role that, that he had, how critical is that to have that veteran uh, in the room? You know, every room needs a veteran leader. Jalen could be that for us. But we expect our young guys to be leaders as well. 
and everybody leads differently, it's very valuable to have that guy like Jalen this year, Nasir last year, Shamar the year before. It's always good to have an older guy in the room that the younger guys can follow their lead.